What's up everyone? Welcome back. Nice to see you again. Uh, today I'll bring you some news on the display tank and my fabulous aquascape that I created for you in the last couple of videos. Not for you, for me. I was alerted to a problem today, so I'll come into the living room. This is my living room. There's a definite odour. Um, often, as I'm sure everyone knows, the first signs you get with a problem with your fish tank, if it's not a, a fish acting differently, it's a smell. If your aquarium smells fishy, you've probably got a problem. Truth be told, I probably smelt it last night. I do remember thinking, is it me or is that the fish? Well, that's, that's not how I meant that to sound. Um, I was thinking, is it me? Can I smell fish or am I imagining it? Um, came back today and I'm definitely not imagining it. And at first glance, there was nothing wrong. All the fish seem quite happy. They're all running around. Um, checked the sump underneath in the cabinet. No problems down there. Um, I've done a water change day before last anyway, so the water quality should be fine. I have checked the parameters. Um, there is a tinge of ammonia, nothing that you would normally worry about. Couldn't figure it out until I counted the fish. And I don't know if you can see it, but there are two blue fish there at the moment, and there should be three. So, started my search around the tank, could find anything. Started looking behind the plants, so as you can see there's some quite large plants and bits of wood, moving them all around, couldn't see anything uh, until you look at the angle from down here there-ish, it's really hard to see with just the faintest flash of blue and it's a different texture than you would imagine I think what's happened is this beautiful little hole that I created as a cave for the plecos or the quarries or whatever to get in but it'd be too small for the discus to get in. One of the discus seems to be trying to challenge that theory and has got himself or herself lodged in there. So it was a hole I didn't think was big enough, I didn't think there were any crevices but it seems to have got in there and got itself wedged and has died and is now probably decomposing. All the other fish seem to be fine. As I say, the water's barely, barely bad, so hopefully I've caught it in time. So now begins the horrible grim job of extracting a dead fish. <laughs> 